Hi, this is Eric, and I'm going to show you how to uh, shoot some green screen on the cheap, otherwise known as chroma key, um, using completely guerrilla tactics. Um, first thing you need is uh, some green screen material. Um, what I'm using here is from Walmart. I paid 74 cents for a sheet of this. Um, it's just fluorescent green poster board. Um, second thing you'll need. Um, is a tripod. I'm using the MX2000 tripod with the uh, quick connect mount here. Um, this is real important um, because if you're using a camera phone as I am, you're going to want that. This model came with an extra mount. I put one on my camcorder and the other one is actually um, sticky taped to the back of my phone. Um, much like this. And you're also going to need lighting. Um, these are 500 watt halogen lights. Uh, they're just work lights. You can get them at Walmart for about eight or nine dollars. Um, you're going to need at least two of them so you get even lighting across your chroma. Um, I'm going to set up the tripod now. Um, just real easy. If you've never done this before, just unlock the legs. Tighten them down and extend your legs. Once you've got your legs extended, you can go ahead and set your tripod up. Um, this one has a leveling bubble. Um, I'm sure there's some good tutorials on how to level a tripod, but you just want to make sure that that little bubble is in the center of that red circle. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to snap my phone into the mount, which has been modified. Now, this particular tripod, if you just snap your phone in, it's going to be just like that, facing at the ground. You don't want that. So there's a little knob on the side that you can use to lift the platform up. It'll come up to 90 degrees. Um, but you can set the angle wherever you want. Okay, and there we go. Now there's level bubbles all over this thing, one there and there, to make sure everything's level. Once I get everything set, I want to lock it in place. Make sure it doesn't move. All right, so we're set to make some video. Um, you don't want to get too close to the screen because you get shadows, and then it won't key out very well like this. Um, we just want to make sure that um, you're in frame. You're not casting any shadows on it. Um, so yeah, this is what we got. Um, Okay, so um, here's the chroma key. This is what it looks like uh, when you bring it into your editor. Um, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll be using Wax 2.0. Um, you can get it from uh, www.debugmode.com. Um, it's a link on their site. They also have other tools, WinMorph, um, a lot of useful video editing software. Once again, it's all free. Um, which is great compared to the prices of Adobe Premiere or Sony Vegas. Both great software packages. Um, the Keen doesn't work so well on it. It's, it's not so tolerant um, if your lighting's off. Um, but as long as you have good lighting, it should work just fine. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing you do is you open up Wax, and then you go up and you right click on that little media folder button there and there's an option that says import media. Um, you select the media you want to import um, which should include the video and uh, preferably the pictures that you want to put or the video that you want to put as the background for the key. Um, you can do that later, you don't have to do it now. 
but um, you just have to make sure it's an AVI um, that doesn't have the MP3 codec for the video. Um, that can be a bit tricky, um, but there's software out there, FFmpeg is one that I use. There's various front ends for it. Um, WinFF, I believe, is what I'm using now. Um, that can convert pretty much any video um, to the format that WAX requires. Um, um, what I'm actually using is the 3GP format, which is a QuickTime variant, real hard to work with um, as is, but it, it works really well, especially for shooting on a cell phone if you're shooting in high res. Um, so what you do is then, you notice when it comes up, there's a video and an audio track, and you can drag both the video and the audio down to the lower half of the screen and make two new tracks. Okay, so there our video shows up. Um, the next thing we're going to want to do is go to the video effects tab on the bottom. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm shooting a full thing blindly because um, all I see is screen right now. You guys should be seeing the screen while I'm working on. Um, <coughs> Anyways, you'll notice a series of effects there. Um, there's 3D on the left, there's 2D on the right. Now there's one on the right that says Quick 3D. It's not really 3D. All it does is manipulate your video track to resize it, um, or you can move it around. A lot of useful things you can do with it. Uh, the Rotomate tool is very helpful. That's what you use to get the uh, Star Wars lightsaber effect, among other things. If you've ever seen um, Steve Odekirk's work, um, for some Panic and some Wars. Um, and that's what he used. I'm pretty sure he didn't use Wax, but uh, same effect. Um, you can see tutorials on how to do this by uh, Lorge. He's got a pretty good one up. A um, uh, video that was made was uh, of the dancing thumb Jorg. Um, anyway, um, get started on here. Um, so I brought my picture in that I want to use as the background here. Um, <clears throat> I've placed it uh, just below the video file. Um, I've also dragged the um, chroma key, I believe is what it is, um, to my video file. Now by expanding that, what I'll get is um, um, the option of color to choose. Right now it's set to blue, but I'm going to hit the uh, eyedropper button and my cursor changes to an eyedropper, and I'm going to drag it up, and it'll become, uh, that, that color will be whatever I select in the video. I'm going to select the green on my screen here. Um, okay, I'm going to adjust the tolerance until just to the point where the screen disappears and becomes the background image without bleeding over. Um, so yeah, um, and after that, that's pretty much it. And you can render your video from there. You just um, put other videos under. And um, you can use the Quick 3D tool. I'll go over how to use that in a little bit um, on a separate video. And uh, that'll be it.